Welcome brothers and sisters and I want to thank all of you who have been following this channel. Thank you even for your subscription and above all thank you for following what we are learning together in this channel. In this series of brokenness, there's a book that you cannot forget to read when you are discussing brokenness. It's a book of Psalm 51. And I want to say Psalm 51 is a Psalm of David when the prophet Nathan confronted him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba and he planned the death of Uriah. And for some few days, we shall study Psalm 51. Let us read Psalms 51 from verse 1 to verse 4. It says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are proved right when you speak, and justify when you judge. Surely, I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceive me. And this is the word of God. As I said, Prophet Nathan confronted David and he gave a story of a rich man and a poor man. When the rich man had visitors, he went and took the bull or the sheep belonging to the poor person and celebrate with his guest. When King David heard this, King David tell Nathan, this rich man should die. And Prophet Nathan reminded King David, you are the one. And when this came to his attention, David did not argue too much. David owned his sin. And therefore, as we talk about brokenness, the great question that I'm asking you today, are you able to own your sin? Are you able to own it and tell God that it is you alone that have sinned? And David says, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. Verse, four, verse 3, for I know my transgression and my sin is always before me. My brother, my sister, your sin is just before you. Have a heart of brokenness. Have a heart of humility. Remove the pride from you and own the sin that you have committed. Confess it to God. God is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins. Go out this day owning the sin, the mistake that you have committed. If you have made a mistake even to your boss, even to your colleague or to your partner, can you go and confess and say, forgive me, it was me who wronged you. It's my prayer that you will have a heart of brokenness. Dear Father, it is my humble prayer that as your children step out, they shall step out strong after acknowledging the mistake they have done in their place of work, in their family, and above all, the sin that they have committed before you. And when they own it, Lord, I believe, you will forgive us. Forgive us, Lord, for the sin that we have committed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Own your sin, confess them. Christ will forgive you. Shalom, shalom. Have a good day.